Today uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, custom, how to define a custom type in an iPhone application called iStayFit. Uh, let's start the application. Um, first I give you a quick overview of what this application does for those who don't. This is an iPhone or iPod Touch application uh, that uh, you can purchase on App Store and uh, it's for used for um, uh, keeping track of your exercises. Exercises uh, shows you all the predefined exercises as well as uh, your own exercises. You can add your own exercises um, and basically define what type of exercise it is. And uh, once you define an exercise, then you can define your workout routine. Um, you create a workout routine by um, giving it a name and then once, let's say, for, the, for example, in here we have a back, back exercise routine uh, in here. Uh, you have a list of uh, exercises that have added. Um, so you can see so there's some setups and uh, and then there's some back exercises and at the end there's a um, elliptical um, cardio exercise. Uh, today's focus uh, is going to be changing the elliptical cross trainer um, exercise so that it uh, can keep track of uh, more um, items that uh, that you want for a specific elliptical machine for example uh, let me show you uh, let's talk about uh, um, exercise types actually let me uh, go back to an uh, exercise type page back or basically when you define an exercise here is a workout that i had that i showed you before now let's say i want to change the exercise type what an exercise type is basically it tells the program um, what type of data do you want to keep track? Um, today, I'm going to change the elliptical um, uh, to um, a new uh, custom type. The custom type I've defined, uh, decided to define is uh, basically here. Here I have a summary written down. The type is going to be called elliptical. Uh, it's going to have four data wheels. It's ha the first one is going to be time. I call it time. And it's the numbers that I have on the wheel is from 1 to 200, increments of 1. Then the second wheel is called incline, 1 to 10, increments of 1. Third wheel is called level, 1 to 20, increments of 1. And fourth wheel, calorie, um, that starts from 10 to 2,000, and then increments of 10. So um, first thing I do, I click on new to create a, a new custom type. In here, I go, um, um, I can define four wheels at any point. I can see all my um, data wheels that have defined at the bottom. By default, you have at least one wheel. So the first uh, wheel is turned on and you cannot turn it off because that's the least you need. Uh, basically, as I said, there's four max up to four wheels you can have. You can turn on the wheels. Uh, now I have two wheels. I can, uh, I can define the third wheel by just uh, switching on the third wheel. If at any time I change my mind, I can switch off the second wheel and then everything goes back. So first first thing i define how many wheels i want in this case i want four wheels so i turn on all four wheels the preview tells me i have four wheels it's called wheel by default and it's populated from 1 to 20 um, nah, which is the default uh, data for a wheel to, to edit the contents of the wheel you basically click on the edit button beside each wheel so for the first wheel we, we said we wanted to have time so on the first wheel i'll click on edit I change the name of the wheel to time done um, I change it from uh, the minimum value maximum value and the increment so I, ch I have the minimum value 1 maximum value is 20 uh, 200 and the increment is 1 so this is good the name is good. I'm done with this wheel. I go uh, and as soon as I change it, I see a preview time and it's one to 200. I can keep going up to 200. Uh, let's define the second wheel, incline. This is also a data wheel. I mean, a, a numeric wheel, so I can define 1 to 10, increments of 1 is the default, done. Let's, we see incline, incline is defined in here, 1 to 10. We go to the third wheel, we call this one level. I 
I go to the fourth wheel I call it calorie ten to two thousand increments of ten I'm done with my definition of wheels now I can just call my custom type elliptical save it now I've uh, I have a new type in here called elliptical now I'm happy with this I save this and I'm done with my workout I come back to home I go back let's I restart this exercise I don't want to save it now when I start the exercise and I go to back and I go to elliptical I have my four data wheels and uh, now I can keep track of let's say today I did um, uh, 20 minutes of incline 4 and uh, level intensity was 10 and the amount of calorie I burnt at the end the machine told me is 190 the preview is shown in there I'm gonna cancel this I mean uh, end this workout session save yes next time I go in my wheels are pre uh, pre populated with what I did last so I can start off from whatever I was and I get a quick preview of what it was there then and basically you continue from there let's say we want to do um, uh, textual data type I'm gonna change the calorie in this type to something else so for example I'm gonna pick a pick a um, let's say intensity level I'm gonna call it intensity and I'm gonna call it easy medium hard just simple so that I can demonstrate in here so to do that I go to exercises in this case this was a cardio so I go to cardio exercises I find my elliptical which is here I press edit in elliptical now I can go to types I have the elliptical I can press edit on the type so the fourth wheel we said we want to change the fourth wheel we change the fourth wheel from calorie to intensity um, we want to change the type from numbers to text so text is just going to be you define the items that's going to show on the wheel let's actually try full words in here so we said easy is the first item um, add a new item medium or intermediate and hard okay now we change the type to text here now we have four uh, we have the fourth wheel is actually textual you can pick what it is as you see the text shrinks if the reward is longer so some people might be happy with this they might prefer to see the whole text or if you don't you can just reduce the text so that the, it becomes larger I'd, I don't like the intermediate to be so small so I'm gonna go like this and do something like this now when I come back it's intermediate easy and hard I, I save this exercise now I save my elliptical done and now when I go here next time I do the exercise back to the top elliptical I have easy intermediate hard uh, that's it uh, for uh, how to do the custom types this is going to be in version 2.1 of the application that uh, is uh, available on App Store thank you